So in my last video, five reasons that you should check out Dungeon Saga Origins, I said that this game had super fast setup. So how about we click on a timer and I show you just how fast that is. So without further ado, here we go. So let's start by opening up the box. We take out the quick start rules and the little information there about terrain crate. Let's keep the books to one side because we'll be needing those. And let's take off the plastic cover protecting the bits and pieces. So first thing we want to do is get the boards out. Now I'm going to have a look on my phone here uh, or you could have a look inside the quest book uh, and see just what the first rooms are that you need. And the first rooms that it says I need here are uh, B1 and A1 set up a certain way. So let's get B1 and A1. We'll put C1 to one side and it says A1 needs to go in this direction and it says B1 needs to go like that. So first of all, we've then got, let me just move this so you can see them on camera. We've got the boards set up in the right direction. Now, if we start the adventure, it will then tell us uh, just where, what we need for our first room. And for our first room, we'll pop the heroes out. So let's get the four heroes out of the box and get them ready for battle there we go so we've got our heroes out now the next thing we can do is we can put the monsters on that we know so in this instance in this one we've got two skeleton warriors uh, and we've got one who pops here on the board and we've got another one who goes here on the board okay let's pop the dice out because we'll be needing those so there's the dice Next thing we do is we put the bits of furniture onto the room that we know from this side. So at the minute, it says that we have fallen rocks that are just here behind that skeleton. And we have one closed door that uh, opens up into this room here. Next thing, let's take our, uh, our cards for our heroes and we'll pop them out ready to go. And we'll put our monster boss cards to one side let's take out our in play tokens and we give every hero a revive token oops he says knocking them flying we give every hero this revive token and for every hero in play the evil overlord gets an interrupt token so that's four interrupt tokens in total uh, and while we've got this bug out let's get the health tokens and pop a health token on the tracker of each of the different characters. There we go. Right, next thing to do is we get out the cards and let's keep let's pop the uh, the nice little handy reference cards to one side. We take the exploration cards and we pop them where every player can get access to them. We take the monster cards and we put them there, ready to, ready to go. We take the evil overlord cards and put them where everybody can see what's happening there. Spell cards. So whoever's playing Dano needs to choose two of the three spells. Let's choose a petty magic and let's choose pyromancy. We'll pop the other ones back in the box. And each character has to have one of these feats and choose the side they're on. So let's have Hail of Arrows for Madriga let's have um arcane force for danor let's have shield bash for roden and let's have whirlwind for um olaf there and then the equipment cards and the legendary cards can go back in the box because we don't need them and there we go we're ready to get set. we're ready we're set up and we're ready to go everything is done in three minutes 57 seconds with a little bit of rambling and a bit of chit chat so as i said in the video in under five minutes you can be set up and ready to go all of the players are on the board all of the players have their cards ready to go they all have their feet sorted the cards that we need for the game are right in front of us and we're ready to go so how fast can you set up your game can you do it any faster can you beat three minutes and 57 seconds. If you can, I'd love to know.